Welcome to part four of my series where we are creating an automated build system with Docker and Jenkins in Azure. In this installment, we will be adding two scripts to Jenkins to extend its out-of-the-box API functionality. One of the major outcomes from this project is to allow dev teams to create their own build environments and build pipelines. The actual build job and pipeline creation is fairly straightforward to automate using the out-of-the-box Jenkins REST API. There are two pieces of our system that the default Jenkins API can't do for us. One is to create a Docker template, that piece of Jenkins config that among other things hooks a build label to a Docker image for a given build job. We need a mechanism to create that template. We also need to make sure that our build team is using unique labels for their build jobs. These are two things that we can easily accomplish with the Scripler plugin for Jenkins and some Groovy script. If you use the Jenkins master image from my Jenkins Docker repo in GitHub, then the Scripler plugin is already installed in Jenkins. So why do we need a unique label for each Docker template? Well, we want our dev teams to create their own Docker images for their build environments. Jenkins needs to link that image, that Docker image, to a particular build job. We do that through the use of a build label. My teams have decided on the following naming convention for their build labels. Team name dash major technology, like Java, ASP.NET, .NET Core, the version of that major technology. And those are all required. So this first part is required. After that, they can tack on minor technologies and versions if it helps them distinguish their build jobs and their images. So here's a few examples. The first part is the team name. A lot of the teams I work with go by nicknames. So stars, and then we know that this image and this template and this build job is ASP.NET Core 1.1. Another example from the STARS team, ASP.NET Core 1.1, also with Entity Framework Core 1.1, and a ReactJS 15.4.1 front end. So remember, this is the build image. So that means that build image is gonna have all those pieces installed. There's a few other examples. I think you get the picture. Remember, the minor technologies are optional, and it's up to a build team to make sure they create a descriptive name for their build environment and for their label and build job. So when you look at these labels like stars, ASP.NET Core, when that build kicks off, we need to know which Docker image to pull. We need unique labels because if multiple Docker templates are using the same label, we'll get inconsistent results. The system won't know which Docker image to pull. A side note here, Initially, we did allow teams to use a single build image for multiple projects. Unfortunately, we learned that this is something to avoid. If a build image changes for one project, you can bet it will break any other projects using that image. So now we enforce having a build image specific to each piece of software. As of this tutorial, we are not enforcing unique Docker images for each build job, but I have planned an addition to this series to cover that topic. So the first script we'll add to Scripler will allow us to get all the labels that have been configured. And the next installment, we'll write some Go code to ensure uniqueness. So from Jenkins, you can see Scripler is installed. Scripler, add a new script. calls git labels. And the scripts are included in the git repo. So let's SSH back into our host. Let's just copy this straight from here into the, the Jenkins interface.
Once that's copied in, click Submit. Then we need to go back in and edit it. Define script parameters. And we'll have one parameter named cloud name. And this allows Jenkins to take in a, a parameter that we can use in our script. We need to add one more script. Copy this into our Jenkins interface. I'm making one change here to the script. If you get latest from my Git repository, this change has been made, but I forgot to do it before this tutorial. So there's one minor change in line 39 here. The yet another Docker plugin changed a little bit. So I made a change here. Once again, we'll submit this and we'll edit it to add parameters. This one will take three parameters. Cloud name, label, and image. Click submit and we've created both of those. Really cool thing about Scribbler is it exposes these scripts in an API-like format. So we can use Postman or Fiddler or even Curl to test our work. I'll walk through the steps with Postman. You can get the free version of Postman at getpostman.com and the free version is fine for our purposes here. The URL to the scripts will be your domain plus scriptler slash run slash script name. So in the case here, this will be https dockerbuild appscom slash scriptler slash run slash git labels groovy. So if you're not familiar with Postman, you can create a new tab here with Command T. I've already done that. Um, if you remember, our Jenkins is secured with basic auth over HTTPS. So we can go and add basic auth here. Uh, add your username and password and click update request. And what Postman does is it adds a header. We also, we know the script takes one parameter and that's going to be cloud name. If you don't remember what you named yours, it's in Manage Jenkins, Configure System. And it's right here, your cloud name is Azure Jenkins. And what it's going to do to get the labels, it's gonna look for this cloud instance and then walk through every Docker template and find these labels and report back to us. So let's see if this works. sent back test slave. Now let's try out our create docker template. So we also need to add our basic auth here. As your username and password, update the request, it adds the header. And this one we have three params. Cloud name is the label it is going to be a new label for us. So let's go test three four five and the image and this is the docker image name we don't have one but let's just pretend we do let's go docker image one two three four five all 
All right, so it returned true. Let's see if it actually created our template here. So we have a label of test one, two, three, four, five. So if we created a build job that used this as a label, this template would try to pull Docker image one, two, three, four, five. That's exactly what we wanted. We need to be able to create this from an external source. Thanks for watching part four of the automated build system tutorial. Today we added to the API functionality of Jenkins with Groovy Scripts and the Scripler plugin. In the next installment of this tutorial, we will create a sample ASP.NET Core application and insert it into the system manually so that when we go to create our Go application doc hand, we will know the basic steps that we need to automate. See you next time.